Yeah. It's been a while. The Minecraft mod that could replace Optifine. What a controversial title, knowing that Optifine is probably the most known and used Minecraft Java mod till this very day. May it be of the performance benefits, the Optifine caves, or cause you just like to zoom in-game without changing the UR FOV to basically zero. So what mod could possibly be a competitor to Optifine? The answer? Sodium. A fresh new mod just released to the public this week. Visiting the CurseForge mod page already shows screenshots of huge performance benefits compared to vanilla like Optifine does, with a boost in performance about 1000%, which sounds insane and quite unbelievable at first. Below some other systems are getting shown, which shows other frame rates and how the mod affects those systems compared to vanilla. But how can a simple mod bring such frame rate boosts? According to the mod author, the mod messes with the OpenGL API on which Minecraft Java is running on, so the overall CPU usage gets lower compared to vanilla, resulting into more FPS and so better performance. The mod also allows to use more cores of the CPU, which will automatically result into a more efficient way of rendering chunks and the world, where vanilla currently only uses one core so far and so slows down the rendering by a lot on modern systems. In short, as long as you are getting limited by your CPU and not your graphics card, you should always experience more frames compared to vanilla. But I wouldn't represent all of this if I wouldn't test it out myself. I'm running an i5-2500 CPU, not overclocked, with 8GB of RAM and a GDX 1060 on Windows 10 with the game being played on Java 8. Minecraft will be allowed to use 2GB of RAM in total of my 8GB which is the default value in the official Minecraft launcher these days. In order to compare Sodium to Vanilla and Optifine, I use the MultiMC launcher and not the official Minecraft launcher by Mojang, so every instance is clean and independent to each other. The mod author also linked a download to a world where his comparison screenshots took place, so I will also use that world for my testings. For all comparisons, I use the Reva Tuner overlay, cause some mods sometimes show you more frames than are actually rendered. Looking at you, Lady Mod. It also will show the amount of VRAM Minecraft uses, the CPU load and the amount of GPU is used for the current process giving more info to work with. I set the render distance to 16. And for Optifine I also use all settings that enhances the game and is set to improve performance. Vanilla starts strong by showing the obvious weakness that this game has compared to Optifine. The time the world renders, the game stutters and is quite unstable. Once the chunks are fully loaded, the game goes stable and lingers around 100 frames, but also drops quite hard into the 60s or even lower sometimes while I move my character around. The CPU usage is also quite high while my GPU is bored, but I didn't expect different. Moving on to Optifine, we can quickly see that after the world file is loaded, the frame rate are instantly around 90 and only go up from there. The world generation is also much sooner done, while the CPU usage goes down more and more after it makes a hold around 50 and then goes up a bit towards 80%. Also noticing is that Optifine doesn't render the chunks that are not currently visible on my screen and for some reason stay unloaded even if I face them directly a short time after. Changing my view angle fixed the issue quickly though. So, let's make a hold here. Optifine already does a huge deal to my frame rate compared to vanilla and the wood generation, but now we want to see sodium in action. Sodium, unlike Optifine, needs a mod loader to function. It is currently depending on the Fabric API, which is like Forge, and kind of was Forge a bit of the throne after Minecraft version 1.13. 
Sodium says to automatically choose the best options for my system specs, so I didn't change options in the events tab, which all shows different things and a huge description next to it saying what it does. I quickly went through all settings and their descriptions, so if you're interested, you can pause the video right here and read it for yourself. Loaded into the world, we start with 28 frames per second, where the world quickly renders all the chunks. It also repeatedly goes up to around 70 frames, and after that makes a huge jump, I mean a huge jump to 600 frames! As I spin my camera, the frames drop to 300, but without any notice and lag spikes. As I continue so, the frame rate stays stable around 600, even sometimes close to 700, while it dips between 500 and 600 which is a massive improvement compared to Optifine and an even bigger improvement compared to Vanilla. While rendering chunks, I go down to the 300s, but without any notice and lag spike once again. After I reach a certain point though, the generation stops and makes a hold for some second, after it catches up rendering chunks again. The frame rate though drops repeatedly and causes a big, I mean a real big lag spike for me there, as it dips into the 60s quickly retaining 300 frame rate afterwards. For fun I also cranked the render distance to 32 to test things out and while standing still the frame rate stays stable and finds its place around 100 to 200 frames, which is not bad in my opinion. I also noticed that the CPU usage was never going over 80%, often staying at 60% while playing with the render distance of 60. So here we are, placing Sodium as the winner against Optifine and Vanilla Minecraft. My conclusion is simple and short, if you have a weaker PC and don't care for shaders or other features of Optifine, then Sodium is your thing to go for. Are you a player like me though, which has the PC and is fine with Optifine hiccups that it currently has and also want shader support, then stick to Optifine. I, for my part, am really interested how Sodium could change the modding scene as it stated that it is open source unlike Optifine. If Sodium would add shader support or even an Optifine like installer, it would probably replace Optifine for many players that may still use Optifine because of the shader support. Unfortunately, Sodium is only available to the latest Minecraft version 1.16 and it stated that the author won't backport Sodium to older Minecraft versions, which isn't that helpful for the PvP scene, where most players stick to the version 1.8, which is almost 6 years old at this point. But maybe that could change in the future, depending on how much attention this mod will get. So, I wanted to say thank you to you, the viewer, who watched this video to the end. This is actually the first time I made a script for a video like that, and it actually was quite some work, but I hope it turned out great. All links to the download of Sodium as well as to the MultiMC launcher and the Fabric API are located in the description. <laughs> so, see you guys in another video in the next 5 months, who knows. <laughs> and with that, I'm out and thank you so much for watching.